And now, suspense. It actually reminds me, I, um, I remember the exact moment where I decided to stop hanging out with like, a certain group of my friends. So it's actually in the same city I live in now, right down mm. the block. And so we, it wasn't me, a couple of my, uh, me, my mom, and a couple of our, uh, my siblings were living with, I don't know, forget who that was, a relative or whatever. So we all just kind of lived in the living room. We moved around a lot. We broke a lot. So we didn't really have our own place for a while. But um, when we lived there, hung out with a lot of the kids in that area. They were kind of cool. But they, look back on now, they love to get in trouble. So they would do random shit like they would go to like these um, residential areas, hide in the bushes. And when it's dark at night, they would just throw eggs and rocks and shit at cars that drive by. And it'd see who would stop. And it'd just you know, scatter. So I remember the exact moment where I decided to stop hanging out with them where... <laughs> So one of our um, one of our neighbors and somebody one of our friends in the neighborhood he moved out his family did, but like we were curious about his house, so we broke into his house. We didn't know it had a silent alarm system, <laughs> and so what happened was um, we the silent alarm went off. We're in there exploring or whatever, and me and my friends are fucking around. We run out the back. I remember because I was I was in front. I look behind me. I yell something, and as I turn around. A cop picks me up and choke slams me because <laughs> I ran right into him. And then my friend saw it. He turned around and ran, tried to run out the front door. <laughs> and then um, cops were waiting, waiting out front too. It also doesn't help that we were throwing rocks at the windows too, oh, trying, yeah. to, trying to trying to see if we can get in. We're like, we always wanted to go in his house, and I don't know why his house is so fascinating <laughs> to us. I think because his dad had a lot of cool shit, and um, especially like for the area, no one had like really cool shit, you know. Everyone was mostly broke, so they actually had like t- a TV in every room. They had PlayStation mm-hmm. twos and shit. So they're kind of like, I wonder if they left any of that behind. <laughs> I don't know why we thought that. <laughs> but we went in, explored the house and shit, and like, I ain't nothing in here. We ran out, and then cops were waiting for us. <laughs> that was the exact moment. I'm kind of like, yeah, probably <laughs> shouldn't do this because the had a you know a chance of going to juvie and shit. It was so annoying. Like the shit they make you do. I I think what I had to do was I had to visit the the area talk to a counselor do some community service things like mm-hmm. oh yeah write an essay about why it's wrong to steal things and whatnot it's like a bunch of weird stuff i'm kind of like this is a hassle i don't really want to do this again i mean i'm not gonna lie i've had my fair share of run-ins with the law because like i mean when you're a kid i, mean, I don't blame kids when they do dumb shit like <laughs> like my son you know like when i know when my son becomes a teenager when he gets older he's gonna do some dumb shit and i'm gonna have to probably like pick him up from jail or some time but like i'm not mm-hmm. gonna be super angry about it because that's just what kids do. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, the, the, the old, hopefully they learn a lesson. Like, for me, I've done my fair share of community service. <laughs> like, uh, I remember the first time I had to do it was because I got kicked out of school. And I had to go to some, like, weird, like, charter school or whatever, like, secondary type of school. Like, I was talking about, like, yeah. half an hour. The bad kids. Yeah, know? like, I had to go to the, one mm-hmm. of those schools for, like, half an hour. This was, like, when um, my parents moved us into, like, a nicer neighborhood. So I was like one of the only colored people at my school. I was just bored, I guess, because I've always been the funny thing about me is that I've always been very smart. Like, I've always been very book smart. Like, I've, I'm a very intelligent person. And that's why I would act out a lot in school because I was bored because I knew our, I already knew everything that they were teaching me. My parents would always get, like have to go pick me up from school and always talk to the counselors and always talk to the principals. And they would always be like telling my <laughs> mom, I remember they would always tell my parents like, your son is very smart, but he just like gets in trouble a lot. Like we don't know what to do. And they would ask me like, why do you act out in school? It's because I was bored. I already know everything you're trying to teach me. You know, like I read. Mm -hmm. Um, They're like, well, how do you know this? I was like, because I read. (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? Like I read outside of school (laughs) or I would research stuff at the library outside of school that I was interested in. And so when Mm -hmm. I started to learn about it in class, I'm like, well, I already know all this shit. Like, why am I going to sit here and pay attention? That kind of like progressed into just doing dumb shit outside of school. Oh, yeah, it's like you go to like, you know, you had like a bad experience with a friend of yours at like, um, or not even like a friend or someone at school. And later at night, you would go egg their house. Like we, my friends would do dumb <laughs> shit like that too. Like I remember like another friend of mine, same thing where it's like, I was really close with him. His neighbors were a bunch of pricks. And um, so him and his, him, that neighbor kid didn't get along a lot. Which led to a lot of several fights. Mm-hmm. And so my friend and I, I mean, my friend and I was like, let's just get them back. You know, they're out of town this tonight. Let's just throw rocks and shit. They're um, the rocks <laughs> and eggs and stuff at the window. Looking back, you never know how messed up that is to like actually like, you know, break someone's window. You're like, yeah, that's, that's kind of messed up to actually do. But yeah, we would be like outside like 10 o'clock at night looking around with a whole bag of eggs and shit. Just throw it and we just scatter, you know. 
So it's like you do shit like you just do dumb shit like that. And I'm really thinking like, oh yeah, we probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Property damage, yeah. Like, cause then that kid's parents have to pay for that. My son, when he's like, he's at the age where he's into like Fortnite and all this stuff, and like online gaming, and he got my credit card information. Oh no! <laughs> and he bought a bunch of shit online. He bought a bunch of like, uh, uh Fortnite money. What is that called? Um, V bucks. V bucks. He bought a shit ton. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, like, cause I was looking at my, my credit card statement and I looked and it said like Microsoft store. And I was like, son of a bitch. When you're a kid, like you, you think that your parents are like made of money or something. Yeah, you don't yeah. comprehend that the actual value of uh, the money. Cause you yeah. never had to work for it or know what things are actually exactly. worth. So it's like, cause $20 to you when you're like 12 years old, I guess that's amazing. 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Dude, you can get whatever you want from the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So he was like. Well, it's on your credit card. Like, that's fine. You can just pay it later. And I'm like, bro, like, I have to pay this. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter if I got to pay it later. Like, I still have to pay for this. Like, it's not like I could just dispute it. It's not like I could just be like, I guess in his mind, it was like, well, you could just tell him I did it, that your kid did it, and it's fine. They'll make it go away. And I'm like, no, that's not how it works, little man. <laughs> they don't care who did it. <laughs> yeah, they don't care who did it. You got to pay for it. My youngest brother. Yeah, my no, youngest brother. He um, when Minecraft first came out on Xbox back in the day, I um, I paid for his Xbox Live, so he played with his friends. But because I left my card information on his account, he would just buy a bunch of dumb shit too, a bunch of skins and whatnot. <clears throat> he spent like a hundred dollars yeah. worth of like skins and weird in-game stuff. I'm kind of like, I'm like, I'm like, they shouldn't make it so easy to buy this shit. <laughs> but I, I know why they do. So you don't want to yeah. have to re-enter your stuff every time, but still, it's annoying. I, I would rather do that. I would rather have to re-enter my stuff than do it all the time. Better precautions, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, like, they have... It's so funny about that, because they have, like, all these, like, three-step verifications on different things, but, like, except on big purchases like that. You could literally buy, like, you know, thousands of dollars on Amazon, and they won't ever check, like, hey, was this actually you that did this? <laughs> oh, yeah, they have the... They have, don't they have the you know one click buy option now where yeah I hate everything's that. saved yeah I actually, I, i'm I've, not a fan of that ever accidentally ever accidentally hit that when you're just like browsing stuff and you i always save to a cart then i hit save later because i keep my eye on things if they you know drop or not and yeah i always miss it and i would just hit like oh yeah one step checkout then it'll be like the confirmation page i'm like no that's taking all back i didn't mean to do that because i'm like i don't know sometimes it takes me forever just to get into my gmail it's like oh hey was this really you or can you like you know we're gonna send you a verification <laughs> Uh, password or something and i'm like all right like but you guys can't do any of this for like xbox or playstation or whatever to keep you know people from stealing my information <laughs> like now they gotta they're so yeah sony and xbox or microsoft they're just so bad with like when it comes to payment like they they love making it easier like they it's just because they make money so why would they mm -hmm. worry about that